Stephen, can I ask you something that I'm sure has been asked of you before? Um, I'm not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not. Well, I, I wasn't going to go to the place where I really wanted to go, which is in all the work that you've done before, have you ever had to uh, dress up and have the sort of sexual <laughs> fantasies that you've had for this part? Uh, on camera, uh, no. I mean, I've done a lot of <laughs> I've always refused to do that stuff on camera. I only do it live on stage. Because uh, <laughs> you've got a line. Bars. Um, uh, no, uh, on, at least roles on camera, no. I've never gotten to go to these places. I mean, it's, it actually is more like a character I would do in a theater piece to me. I mean, it's that complex and that varied and more and that contradictory and more sides keep appearing to him as we go on. And I find, you know, a lot of the time, at least roles I've done on camera, I play a lot of agenda-driven people. You know, they walk into the room and they know exactly what they want. And it was very confusing for me at first with Rex because the only thing Rex knew was that he was confused. Hmm. And I would actually show up on set going, I don't know how to play this scene. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> and it really, it was great because uh, it's been a great process for me because... What I started to do was realize that all these were appropriate feelings for Rex, and as soon as I embraced them and was not afraid of them, the character began to unlock himself more for me. So it's been a great thing for me about trusting uncertainty, I mean, this whole process. So I, and now I'm just reveling in all his contradictions and his quirks, and uh, I'm just looking forward to what comes next. Steven, Steven didn't know, we didn't know what Rex's secret would be at first. So I told Stephen, well, you go do some research. Give me something unusual. And he had a good one that we didn't ultimately use. But the Well, I, I said, I actually went on the Internet. It was very useful. You know, I was, like, looking up sexual fetishes, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. The things <laughs> but, They'll arrest you for that. I think you take your computer and everything. Yeah, okay. Well, I, 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 you know, I think it's a big thing about Rex, too. I mean, a lot, if you just, you know, a lot of the stuff you have to go into, like, pay to go to download porn, and I don't want to do that. But you can surf into different chat rooms and find out that there's, I think like Rex, a lot of people out there who thought they were the only one the whole time they were growing up, and suddenly over the internet they found that there was whole communities of people like them. And I imagine it would be raise, empowering. Feel free to raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's empowering. Not, not here tonight. <laughs> it's frightening as well. Um, yeah, but, but, I, and I, but, I but, but anyway, the thing I came up with was that Rex doesn't like, he's not into men, he's into women dressed as men. <laughs> and I, I sort of spun out this whole thing where, you know, that, that he'd tell Bree and they'd really, they'd have this passionate sex life for a while, but then she'd get so obsessed about what she was supposed to wear that she'd ruin the fantasy. <laughs> Stephen, the one I was thinking about, the other, it was the other one, which was he could only make love to Brie in filthy surroundings. No, but you guys... That was my assistant. No, that was my assistant came up uh -huh. with that one then. Because it wasn't me. Because when I heard that, I went, <laughs> dare I? <laughs> you know? And I thought, no, let's go with something conservative like this. <laughs> 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 but, you know, but it had to make you feel really vulnerable to do that, doesn't it? Yeah, terrific. I mean, I, yeah, I loved it. It was just great. Uh, I said vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it's, it's great. I, I, you know, I, I like being that vulnerable. You know, when, when I first read the scene, I told Mark, I said, man, this really, it's really scary in a really good way. It's really dangerous, and I loved it. You know, more. <laughs> Jesse, what's the, what is the absolute, just hands down, coolest thing that's happened as a result of this show for you? Wow. Because, man, you're just in the seat, aren't you? It's just got to be. Yeah, I mean, just the whole, the whole thing has been just a tremendous opportunity. And, you know, I mean, I just feel really honored to be working with all these great actors. And, I mean, you know, specifically speaking, like, you know, Doug... You know, and Marsha. I mean, I grew up watching Melrose play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Over here, Grandfather. Over here. <laughs> Just so 
sensitive about the age. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was getting at was that, you know, I mean, it's, it's amazing for me to be now on the same show hmm. as these two great actors. Good recovery. That Thank was good. You. That was good. <laughs> now, again, just for the purposes of... But I mean... So let's say, Jesse, if you want to find out... <laughs> oh. <laughs> What it's like to sleep with Kimberly Shaw. <laughs> Don't, she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what, the definitive ice